Oh, freaking at the Freakers Ball, y'all. Yeah, that's right. This is the last Freakers Ball of the decade of the year of the month. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it is December 27th, 2019. This is the annual Freakers Ball prediction show. It's kind of an early New Year's Eve party, if you will. Yeah, and uh, so this is what we do every year. We come on here, we, we do predictions for next year. We talk about the predictions that were made last year. I've added a new thing this year where you can actually do your, like, resolutions there, too, uh, and in, in any of the chats. So uh, if you're in one of the chats and you want to predict something, just do exclamation point predict and then your prediction. Same thing for resolutions, exclamation point either R-E-S or the word resolution, and then your resolution for next year. If you should care to do those things, we will record them and and we will get them up there for uh, the, for the coming year and and see how well everybody did uh, at the end of uh, next year. So hey man, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Freakers Ball right here live on RealLibertyMedia.com. Yes, indeed, and uh, we are live also uh, on Vaughn dot live slash RealLibertyMedia for the video stream there and on. Uh, the the audio stream which goes out on rlmradio.xyz it's on freedomsnetwork.com it's on realliberty.org it's on internet radio it's on tune in it's on shoutcast <laughs> yeah that that audio stream gets on out there all kinds of places so uh yeah but the, the video stream is really what you what you really what you really want to dig on you know the the video stream is 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 the awesome thing and come on into the chat here at realliberty.com it's the uh, pound pound real liberty media on irc dot dot net, or there's we got some other channels where people may be chatting from, and uh, hi and howdy to all those folks out there in the other channels as well, because you know you're all welcome. It's the freakers ball. Everybody is welcome all the time. Moose girl will be calling in momentarily, I would assume. Uh, but let me say hi and howdy to the folks here in this chat, the main chat, right here. We got the barman. Hey, barman! How you doing, old buddy, old friend, old pal of mine? <laughs> Mr. Beetle and Cowboy Tech. ACT, myself and the Mighty Miss Girl are here. Miss Kate, the lovely, wonderful, awesome Miss Kate. Uh, we have Anti and Asmo Asmodeus, Chalcedony, free enslaved. You out here free? You listening in free? Say hi. All right, we got Miss Gramsci, the wonderful Miss Gramsci. Yes, indeed, uh, the Java Doctor, Meester Meister, Mooster Brow, Ponder Dander, who did his show today. Uh, yeah, he uh, was, uh, he, he, it was an interesting show that he did. Uh, very, very interesting stuff. Poopster and Prince, who I normally say Poopster and Prince, who do their show on Thursday evenings at 11 p.m. Eastern, but Poopster is, 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 is bowing out. It'll just be Prince now, but not just Prince. It'll be Prince and Zippix. It'll be the Prince and Zippix Power Hour. So, uh, yeah, get used to hearing that little change-up going on. Because, uh, yeah, man, Zippix is cool. Poopster, sorry to see you go, man. Uh, hopefully you'll be on there as a regular guest on the Power Hour. Because, uh, you know, you never really said that much. But the things you said were always cool and interesting. Uh, even if I didn't agree most of the time. <laughs> we got Mr. Rob Works and the mighty Bubla. Uh, this Trust No One. Rose, what's going on there? You trust no one today. All right, we got Vanna White. She's a hot bot. Mr. Vin E himself, the weather dork. The dork of all weather and telling you, hey, somebody else already posted that link. The wood man, the other half of the Meister Brow. Phantom of the Phantom. CC66. Yes, Crypto Coiner himself. Miss Circle, lovely, lovely Miss Circle over there in Danmark. The cyborg noodle, cyborg, he's half bot, half not. <laughs> E-man, Ensiv. Yeah, I was chatting with Ensiv last night over in Dobbs Coin Chat. Uh, he, he didn't even realize I was there in Dobbs Coin Chat because I never talk in there. But last night when Poopster and Prince were on, I, I posted the, like, the now message over there and and then, oh, hey, you're in this channel? How long you been here? <laughs> well, I've been there since the beginning, man. All right, so we got Gooberzilla. Goob. Uh, the Gromit. Uh, JJ's. JJ's. Pone Sauce. The Sock Puppet himself there. Uh, Slim. Jim. Flim. 
who's, I don't know, working, maybe? I, I don't know what he's up to. Uh, smart ass, you smart ass little bot. The holiest of holy rogers and the aforementioned Zipex, who will be there uh, on uh, next Thursday night with Mr. Prince on the Power Hour. All that fun, fun, fun stuff. Not, uh, Chloe's asking Prince. It's not Prince, P-R-I-N-C-E. It's Prince, P-R-I-N-T-S. Um, but you could call him Prince if you like. <laughs> All right, so uh, Moose, are you going to call in? I, I, I'm not sure what's going on. I haven't got to call for Moose. She's in there in the chat, chatting away. But I'm still waiting to hear my little ring-a-ding-ding thing going on, going on on my wire so I can get her here in my headset, and, and, and she can talk, and I can talk, and we can talk. It'll all be all cool and fun, and and uh, as it should be on a freaker's ball. <laughs> so so dial it up, Miss Moose. Get you on here. Get you on and get you on over here. All right. So anyway, I hope everybody had a nice Christmas uh, or whatever holiday-type thing you may have celebrated over the, the past week. This is Friday, which means it's the end of the Christmas week. Um, and leaning on into the, the New Year's week. Uh, and uh, so if you if you got, you know, um, plans for the New Year's, uh, I'm going to tell you, you know, uh, and not that you don't already realize this, but uh, some people tend to drink on New Year's Eve. Uh, they like drinking alcohol, and they do it on New Year's Eve. And some people overdo it on New Year's Eve. And, and I, I say to you, I say to you, I'm not trying to preach. It's a bad idea. Go ahead and have a drink or two, if that that would be your preference. However, uh, don't don't get just wasted, because that's just stupid. The next day, you're going to wake up the first thing on New Year's Day and feel like shit. That's how you're going to introduce a new year. Not that a year really means anything. It's just days marked off on a calendar. It, 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 it really uh, has no significance or importance other than that. But, um, yeah, just try and uh, be mellow on the New Year's Eve. You know, if you're going to do something to excess, make it weed. <laughs> and I, I don't really know that there is an excess of weed. Miss Moose Girl. Hello? Hello, Moose? Oh, uh, hello. Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh, good. How you doing? I'm okay. That's good to know. That's good. I'm going out partying on New Year's Eve. Are you? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, you get out there with but, the get out there with the amateurs. You know, that's a yeah. Uh, I know, but it, it, it could be entertaining watching that. Yeah, kind it of can stuff. be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. So uh yeah, um that that will be that will be fun. It'll be cool and interesting and uh you'll see things. Yeah. Oh and yeah. They, oh, I'm going out to see Day Old Bread. They once a year sometimes <laughs> the late the the lead singer wait, 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 the head guy of Day Old Bread, wait, which is a band name. He uh, fucking uh, sure, Arizona. Let me make sure I heard you right. Day old bread. It's the name of the band I want to see on New Year's Eve. <laughs> yep. They make a reunion tour every every once in a while because the, the lead guy moved down to Arizona. All right. <laughs> but he's from Eau Claire, so yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to that on to Mouse Trap. All right. Well, if you know with that day old bread, the trick to that is you just toast it. <laughs> right. You toast it up, and you you don't know if it's day old or not. It's good as new. <laughs> There's so, also a band out there called Burnt Toast and Jam Grim. Okay, well, Burnt Toast is a little different, yeah. I, yeah. I don't I really want burnt, burnt toast, but the day old bread, <laughs> day old bread toasted up is is mighty fine, mighty fine. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, um, how's it going? It's going good. How 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 was your holiday week? It was fine. It was fine. It was fine. It's good. And you had a good time with the boys there. Uh yeah, we went to my brother's Christmas Eve. Came home. 
veg on on Wednesday, Christmas Day. I cooked a ham dinner. So yeah, pretty uh, low key. Very nice, very nice. Did you get any uh, gifts? Hell no. Nothing. I didn't get no fun. Well, from my mom and dad. <laughs> Oh, well, what'd they I'm get I didn't get nothing from anybody else. <laughs> the, 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 the boys didn't get you nothing? No. Eh, little... No. Little bastards. Well, what, what, what'd mom and dad right. get you? What, what'd mom and dad get you? Money. <laughs> oh, well, money's good. Yeah, money's that, good. <laughs> that that pays for the boys' gifts. <laughs> right, yeah. Or, or part of it, anyway, yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> So yeah. Oh god. Oh, I see. I see Vinny mentioning he's going to be eating black eyed peas for New Year's. Black it, eyed peas, huh? Yeah, it's it's kind of a tradition. It's a southern tradition. Oh, is it? Okay. I, I don't know if you're familiar with that or not, but they're supposed to bring you good luck into the new year. Oh, I. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a southern southern tradition. They're eating the black eyed peas on, right. on, on New Year's Day. Uh, generally, those go really good with ham. So I don't know if you got how much ham you got huh. left there, but. Uh, Oh, I have a ton of leftover ham. I got more leftover ham than we'll ever eat. Yeah. Okay. Well, then you can have some. Still have some more of that on New Year's Day, and, and have some black eyed get it, get yourself some of them black eyed peas and cook them up, and and you'll be you'll be having good luck all year. <laughs> awesome. In the twenty twenty. I've never heard. I've never heard of it. Oh, well, that, I know that it, tradition before, it, 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 but it, 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 I believe it. it. I it, believe it. You know, it was a thing in, in my family growing up. I I don't know how my mom picked it up. She was a Yankee. She was up from from New Jersey, Chicago, Philadelphia areas. Uh, okay. But maybe from uh, my father uh, and his, his the white family that adopted him because they were Southern Florida. Uh, oh, okay. Yep. So it's possible that's where she got it. I I don't know. That could but, be. Um, I, I I they they taste they're tasty black eyed peas. I don't know if you ever had them. But, I have not. Yeah, they're like they're they're more like beans than peas. They're not they're not really peas. Right, right. Yeah, so they're they're good though. Um, anyway, I got a bunch of cool stuff for Christmas from my my family awesome. and family and friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you last I, week. I told you last week. I got that electric guitar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and uh, my friend Jeannie, she sent me a uh, uh, pickup for my acoustic. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so I can plug that into the little lamp I got now there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh and uh my brother, my brother. Oh, my, bro- my brother sent me uh my brother sent me uh, uh I, you know I have all this stuff on my Amazon list and then right. go through through there. And it's like, did I put that that was on my list? I don't remember. Yeah, did that, I put that on there? Yeah. yeah, and I looked at it. Oh, yeah, I put that on there quite a while back. And anyway, so uh, this uh it's an attachment for my for my for my weed whacker. Uh, oh, okay. It, it's uh, it's one that I already have, but the one I already have is is it's kind of like being held together with uh, duct tape and bailing wire. Uh, you know, mm. it's, it's had a lot of use, <laughs> and so I really wanted a new one, and I put it on there. I forgot all about it. So uh, yeah, you got me. Cool. That. And uh, and uh, yeah, so it's just cool. You know, good to get fun stuff, and I sent them all some fun stuff. I guess. So whatever. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, play some jams. We'll come back yeah, let's we'll, do that. And, we, and we'll start. We'll start in on the predictions. Uh, last year's predictions. Okay. Uh, then we'll then we'll get into this year's predictions and and, and get your predictions in, folks. If you want, you know. I'm so bad at this. I can't think of predictions. That's I, all right. I, I, I just think I, I, during I, the show, but yeah, that's all right. I suck. That's all right. I think you got one in I there. And, all, and also, if you have any resolutions, put them in right. there as well. Put them in oh, there I hate well. resolutions too. Oh, you know I don't, but whatever. If you have, <laughs> if you have any that you want to share, go ahead. I do free. have one that I'm going to discuss. Maybe if we have a, if it, if the time is right. During okay, the show in, in, the, in the resolution. And then I have a, a new feature for this year, uh, which is the twelve top stories that were covered on Freakers Ball over the last year. And I okay. did it. I started off. I was going to do the ten top stories, and these aren't really the twelve top stories. No. Uh, what I what I did because we cover so many stories, you know, it's almost impossible for me to go through and say what was the best top story, you know, whatever. Right. So what I did was I picked one story from each month. Um, okay. And whether they're the the one top one top story of that month or not, I don't know. But either way, it takes us back. 
to the beginning of 2019. Right. And we get to pop, 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 pop on through. Smart way so, to uh, go yeah. through the, yeah. Yeah, cool. so, so I'll just uh, give a little brief synopsis of each one. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, let's uh, let's do some jabs here because, uh, you know, we're uh, – we're, um, An entertaining show. Because the future is almost here. Yes. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> the future is never here. <laughs> All, right. All right, then. Uh, speaking of the future. You have to – Prince, you have to record – do uh, explanation point predict. Right. Get it in the list. Then man. The ears, then... Yeah, now I'm a happy seller. Married to the fortune teller. Happy as I could be and I get my fortune told for free. <laughs> That's a, a band called The Throb uh, with Fortune Teller. Uh, the Stones covered that song, too, uh, any of you that um, uh, may be interested. But The Throb, they, they wrote it, and I, I think the, uh, the the Stones made the song famous, but, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, anyway, before that, we had The Meteors and Strange Times uh, coming. It's a great song, great band, The Meteors. Uh, if you like that rockabilly, and I love that rockabilly. And we kicked it off with Leonard Cohen and The Future. <laughs> oh, man. So, <laughs> good stuff, let me tell you. <laughs> you, you. You never you never heard of that fortune teller song, huh? Uh, I probably have. I just didn't. It's, it's, it old, was... it, it's old. It's old. It's 60s yeah. stuff, you know. Uh it's, it's probably, you it know, sounds like the typical 60s song, I mean. Oh, yeah, of course. I've yeah. probably heard it before, just didn't know the name of it, or what, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I used to dig that song when I was a kid, listening on my AM radio. I bet. <laughs> Dude, we're fucking old. Oh, that we are, that we are, that we you are. You remember fucking shit. I, I'll, give, I'll give my little brother hell, because he's 49 now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He'll be 50 next year. Same uh, yeah. Yeah, God, little, 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 little bro, man. Turn, yeah, I know. Turning 50. <laughs> it's like, wow. Wow, that's quite the thing. Uh, so, yeah, it <laughs> is. Yeah, buddy. So, uh, doing the New Year coming soon. Absolutely, Frump. Uh, yeah, we're, uh, we got, we got the New Year coming up, and this is, this is like our, our New Year's Eve pre show, you know, so, uh, yep. Um, yeah, okay, it is. okay. Now, for last year, we had 34 recorded uh, predictions. All right. 34. And uh, I don't think we have that many this year. No, we don't have that many. So get them predictions in. We need more predictions for this year. Uh, and we're going to start off uh, at right at the top of the list there. Uh, there's from a last year, right? From last year, yeah. Start off okay. from last, last year's predictions and uh, see how well people did if, if, if they if – they, if they get a, a ding, they got it right. And if they got a boop, then not so much. <laughs> All right. Uh, the first four actually are from Free Enslaved. Uh, All right. And uh, I, this I did not happen. Um, okay. But uh, he said Free Enslaved predicted that North and South Korea finally unite under Kim's leadership. So, um, uh uh, I'll give that a, a, a dash, a buzz, uh, whatever, whatever you call it. Uh -huh. Nope, sorry, free. Uh, they are they, they are not united. Uh, secondly, uh, free predicted that Trump will be forced to get it right on deregulation, decriminalization of pot in America. No, didn't have, unfortunately, not, no, it did not happen. Uh, not only that, but they uh, they have no plans on doing so. No, they uh, don't. Not anytime uh, soon. Part part of, and, and I, I know I shouldn't talk about this uh, right now, but uh, uh, let me just say uh, okay. that as everybody's watching the impeachment crap, part oh, of that big ass one point four trillion dollar spending bill, yep, included Congress killing cannabis reform. Yes, I saw that, and yeah. it just got glazed over, but I didn't yep. see that. Yeah. It didn't hardly, didn't hardly even get mentioned. Now, this next one, you're going to have to help me out. I think this may have happened. I'm not positive or not, 
uh, but but I think this may have happened. Uh, he said, sort of phrase later, he said, uh, Starbucks will eliminate plastic straws from all of its location, locations, he says within two years, but I think it already happened, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll, he'll give them a ding. You got, you got that one, buddy. Uh, oh, the menu? I'm sorry. No, you're there. You're there. You, 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 okay. So, so Starbucks got rid of all their plastic straws, as far as I know. Um, you, you agreed with that? You said that's right, correct? What, no? A Starbucks eliminated all its plastic straws? No, it did not. It did not? Okay. Sorry, Free. No, it did not. No. I thought they had. I, well, he, he still, he, he says within two years, so. No, and they forget, well. But, but, you, but you can't really, you can't really do a two-year prediction, prediction uh, on right. a one-year prediction show. So. No, because a friend of mine, or the girl I work with, goes to Starbucks every morning and gets a lemonade or something, and they use the clear plastic glasses and the clear straws. Oh. Um, in this one, I don't even know how he put this in as a 2019 prediction, but he did. Um, Free and Slave said, Pope Francis will resign before the end of 2018. So I guess he meant between the time we did our show last year, <laughs> and New Year's. So, no, that didn't happen. He's still there. Um, so, another... So, four four guesses, four... <laughs> right. Darn it! Now, Rob Works, um, also... In, I, how are some of these... Uh, people are putting 2018s in there. I don't, I don't get it. Um uh, well, huh. it, yeah, maybe by 2020. Uh, Rob Work said Democrats will be completely devastated in the 28 midterms. That did not happen either. That was no. actually quite the opposite. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, now this one, however, e even though it didn't happen, I wish it did, um, <laughs> because it, it would eliminate some problems, although it would... Uh, also eliminate just your random person coming on to check stuff out. But Rob Works said that Freenode would go to a registered mix only format soon. Um, so that didn't happen. So, uh, so far we are 0 for um, all of these. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. And, and, and he said soon. So uh, I don't know what he meant, if that was supposed to be in 2019 or what. Uh, Rob Works also predicted that sometime in the future, and that, that could be anything, um, that there will be a great garbage patch rush, which I don't know what that means. I don't either. Um, has there been a great garbage patch rush? No. All right. I don't know what he means by rush, though. Uh, all right. Uh, I, I don't either, so. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Uh, and another, see, free and slave, I'm, I'm just going to buzz on this one, because I'm not even going to read it to you, because it doesn't make any sense. Um, uh, free and slave predicted Bitcoin at $750, which uh, he's uh, quite a bit off on that, since it's almost $7,500. Um, uh, and so, um, oh, shit, now I lost all my buzzes. Somebody, somebody, somebody predicted something and it messed me up. Uh, it's all right. I can put them all back in since they were all buzzes. It's easy enough. Um, <laughs> so I don't know how he, he predicted seven hundred and fifty dollars, but uh, no, no, sorry, sorry, free or not sorry. Actually, uh, I'm glad that that didn't happen. Uh, that we did did, did not um, have a uh, Bitcoin at seven hundred and fifty dollars. Um, um, so, yeah. Anyway, so uh, now my first prediction of last year. And I think I'm right. Although they said they were, they just never did. <laughs> because as soon as they said they were, they said, well, not really. <laughs> I predicted that the United States would not pull out of Syria in 2019. And they have not. So, ding! I get a ding! One for me! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. 
So, um, all right, uh, <laughs> all right, let's see here. Um, Circle predicted, and you'll have to help me out with this one because I don't really know, uh, but you can tell me if this is true, Moose. Um, uh, Circle predicted that Big Pharma will fuck up weed even more in 2019. Moose Girl, are you with me? Fuck, I muted. Sorry. Oh, okay. I said... Oh, okay. So, she, so that didn't happen? No, I don't think that happened. <laughs> All right. I don't, right. I don't think it happened. I mean, I right. could probably argue that point, but... All right. All right. Uh, I mean, I live in Wisconsin where it's not quote-unquote... Recreational is not quote-unquote legal yet. Yeah. So the black market's alive and well. Yeah. As far as I can tell, they haven't fucked with it, so... Oh, oh, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's predict. It's not prediction, uh, Prince. Predict. Yeah. Pre predict, yes. Prediction, yes. So there you go. Uh, Rob Brooks helped him out. Oh, okay. Okay. I right. think. Terrific. Yeah, there you go. Terrific. Oh, uh, I see. Circle predicted the same thing I did. Um, Circle okay. said there will still be U.S. troops in Syria by the end of 2019. So Okay, so that was a good ding. prediction. Yep, she got that statement. I got that. She got that. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, well, I, 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 I got to have to buzz myself on the next one here. Uh-oh. Uh, I said, <laughs> <laughs> I should have carried this over to the new year, but I didn't. Uh, I, I still can, I guess. I predicted yeah. a 9.0 plus earthquake somewhere along the Pacific Rim. That did not happen. That did not happen. But we you know what? We came close, though. Uh, well, we, we, had, we had some pretty good size ones, sevens yeah, and se some pretty good sevens and seven shakers. pluses. So yeah. let, me, let, me, let me put that in again for this year. And, but and not totally. I mean, there were some bad a few couple, but not too bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so let me put that in. All right, all right, all right. Oh, and this one I still got wrong. And we've got, everybody that's guessed this has got this wrong every year since we started doing this prediction show, and the motherfucker okay. is still standing. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know who that is? No. Dick freaking Cheney. Oh, yeah, that bastard, <laughs> that, that I, robot. I, I, my, my prediction was, Cheney will tie. This that time it's for he's real. He's a Borg at this point, Graham. He's a uh, Borg. He's not even a human. He's a Borg at this point. I, I predicted Cheney will... always was. I predicted Cheney will die. This time it's for real. <coughs> <coughs> so I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cowboy Tech predicted... And I think he can predict this every single day. Uh... <laughs> The sun will rise. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> that's pretty obvious. That's not even a fucking prediction. That's just a hope. Well, well I, I think it's pretty much a given. Well, uh, yeah, hopefully every day. It does. <laughs> if it doesn't, we're fucked. Oh, man. All right, number 15 from last year. Chloe predicted that I... Would take the guitar out of the guitar out of out of the closet and play it. She was right. Ding. Awesome. That's a good prediction. <laughs> Yay, Chloe. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. Space Wolf. Yeah, you remember Space Wolf? Where the hell's he been? Um, He's around, but yeah. he doesn't do the chat no more. Yeah, not too much. He comes in every now and then. I, I every think, once in a while, he'll pull, show up. But anyway, Space Wolf predicted that Britain would finalize a deal to leave the EU, and at least one more country will start the process of leaving the EU. Didn't um, happen. It did. Well, the Brexit. It's pretty yeah, much. Brexit, it, but that wasn't that wasn't this year. That wasn't 2019. Yeah, it was. Was it? Just a couple, it was 2018. Just, just a couple weeks ago. Oh, I didn't hear it. I yeah, didn't hear about it. it's pretty. It's it's not actually totally a finalized deal yet. Okay. And as far as I know, another country has not started the process. I could give them half a ding, half a buzz, but uh, I, I think they're not actually going to finalize the deal until the beginning of next year. Although they said they were going to, um, but but the other half of the prediction is wrong, unless you know of a country that has. Uh, started the process of leaving the EU, other than uh, the Britain. Um, 
Uh, January 31st, Cowboy Tech says so. Yeah, it's next year. It was so close, though, man. You were you were good on that one, Space Wolf. But, uh, yeah, they, they, they fought it tooth and freaking nail. Um. <laughs> All right, I predicted... Is this okay. right? Is this right? Is this wrong? I don't know. Um, it, it, it's kind of right because... Um, Okay, I, I predicted that New Mexico would take steps towards legalizing re- recreational weed, and hey. and and they 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 kind have kind have done that because uh, they uh, the legislative session session uh, comes up in January and they pre-filed a bunch of bills already, uh, and the, the main one and everybody's talking about it here in New Mexico, and they're gonna pass it. I. I Garen freaking it, uh, is, is the legalization of the weed. That will be the big one out here. I'm going, I'm, I'm going to get myself a ding, a ding, 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 ding on ding, that. Ding, ding, ding. Nope. <laughs> and Moose Girl gets a big ding, ding, ding on this one too. And All right. I, I'm thankful that she's got this one cor- correct and All right because how stupid of an idea is it? Moose Girl, <laughs> Moose Girl predicted that the United States southern border will not be completely closed in 2019. And it's not. It's still a kind of a it free. Is not, it's a still kind of a, a free, ding, 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 a free, ding, ding. a free flowing deal. Um, right. Well, uh, they they threatened Trump threatened to shut it down. He threatened, but that never happened. It never happened. And he threatened to put up this big old wall. It can't. It's not it, done. it never it, happened. It no. really, it really can't happen. No. Um, no. Okay, I predicted, and it got close. It got to nineteen, but it never made it. Um, okay. I predicted that silver would reach twenty bucks an ounce during Close. the re- uh, during the recession, and oh yeah, there will be a recession. <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> well, I think the recession. We're, in it. We're still in it. It's I, been going on. But I but I have to buzz myself because it didn't get to twenty. It only got no, to nine. It only got though. it only got to nineteen. Um, but for, that's damn close though. Yeah, okay. yo, it, it is, but but uh, that. I'll give you a close for that one. Yeah, well, no cigar. Um, <laughs> Cowboy Tech vo- uh, 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 predicted, uh, I don't know if this is really a prediction, stated, <laughs> what? Cowboy Tech stated, I, I'm not, I can't really call it a prediction, but he, okay. he, he predicted, voters will whine about voting. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So I'll give you a ding on that, Cowboy Tech. Ding, yeah. ding, ding, ding. Winner, ding, winner. Ding, ding, ding. They're still bitching. They chicken, don't stop bitching. Uh, it's chicken, a nonstop stop uh, Chicken, thing. chicken, chicken dinner. Hey, Mikey. It's on a, it's on a loop reel. <laughs> it's on a loop reel. Uh, yeah. Right. Bitchy, bitchy, bitch. All right, all right, all right. Nextly, and also, oh, so close, but not a cigar. Okay. I predicted that Ruth Bader Ginsburg would die. She has not yet. Yeah. The old well, biddy's hanging on. I know. I, I was, but it was so close, man. I, yeah, I don't. I don't even. I don't even. I, I'm, not, I'm not even sure why I thought of her last year. Right. But I predicted last year that she would die, and she. She's been having in the news with her health issues. Oh That's yeah, she's she's, she's basically a walking corpse. Well, yeah. <laughs> she's probably a robot like Cheney. They just don't want you to think that. Okay, Cowboy Tech, you're gonna have to explain this next one. That you predicted for last year, because I, I don't really sure what it means or if it happened. But Cowboy Tech said, Statue of Limitations will expire on some powerful people. What, what exactly does that mean? I, I, I don't know. I think Epstein is a good example. Well, yeah, he expired. <laughs> His statute of limitations expired. So, uh, I, I, I'll, I guess I'll say ding on that. That, that, sounds, that sounds like a winner. Yeah, I uh, mean, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, oh, I just thought it was good Okay, okay. Uh, and sadly, very, very sadly, my next prediction was wrong. And so there's still hope, and I can re-predict this again for next year, because it's... It's got to happen at some point. But right I know he said Hillary to Obama. Oh. See, now Hillary's still going, dude. And so, and their, and their statute, and their statutes of limitations had not, had not, um, 
run out. Had not run out. So my prediction, sadly wrong, Ross Ulbricht would be released from prison. And no, he's still rotting Didn't away. Happen. He's still rotting away in a federal cage. Damn. So I'm going to re-predict that again for this year. Because, God okay. damn it, release the boy. Let him yeah. let him out. Let him go. Let him be free. He's done nothing. <laughs> so, all right, Kate. Sorry, Kate. This is your only, the only, the only uh, prediction I see for you, Kate. Uh, and and it's a, a um, <laughs> Kate predicted that Trump will not run in 2020. Oh no, he's running. Yeah, so he he's running. He's Unfortunately, run, he's running like the didn't happen. Running like the guy he is. Um, Moose girl, another for you. Oh, okay. Um, uh, you you predicted. <laughs> oh God. Uh, that uh, I can't remember. <laughs> the first manned rocket trip to Mars will take off in 2019. So that no, that did not happen. That did not happen. No, he would... And and another one that I was sadly wrong on and uh-huh. now realize the folly of my thinking that way, I predicted that Hansel would Uh-oh. see the error of following Trump. <laughs> uh, really? Did you really think that was what fucking happened? Well, no, it was more of a... It was, it was, it, it, it was more of a hope. <laughs> right, yeah, that... No, you you knew that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> but of course, directly. Nice try though. I mean, I'll but, give but, it uh, you know, uh, credit on that. Nice uh, try. Of but. course, of course. Directly after I predicted that, Hansel <laughs> Hansel predicted that I would turn cyanotic and turn <laughs> and turn blue from holding my breath, waiting for Hans to ever betray his Sith Lord. <laughs> well, I didn't. Ding, act- ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I didn't actually turn blue, and I'm not sure what cyanotic. I'm not. I'm not sure what cyanotic means, but yeah. we'll we'll give him a dig on that because I've given up. I've given up on Hans uh, uh, ever betraying the Trumpster. <laughs> right. Oh, here's another Kate one oh, I, that I, I, I didn't see earlier. Uh, Kate predicted that Henry Kissinger would die, and sorry, Kate, he's still kicking it too. Um. <laughs> Damn, he's another robot. Yeah, he's another motherfucker. Just keeps on going on. Yeah, what the fuck? Die already, dude. Oh, God damn! You got this one wrong, Moose, and and I don't Uh-oh. know, I don't know how I'm you could have how you could have predicted what all the crap that happened because yeah. it was really weird on all the stuff that happened. But you said that the festival at the Woodstock original site on August 14th to August 16th would be a success. It and didn't, it did, well, that didn't even, it, didn't even yeah, take place. It didn't even happen. No. Yeah, it was just, it, 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 it was a no thing, you know, it was a... It was, it turned out to be a, a big... So, yeah, so fuck that noise. Um, uh, Vinny, are you there? Are you listening, Vinny? You're going to have to answer this, because unless somebody else knows, I don't fucking know. <laughs> um, but I don't think this happened. I'm going to buzz him on it uh, until unless he tells me different. Uh, but Vinny said, a new raid cattle battle, cattle battle gather, whatever that means, on the Bundy Ranch. Uh, I don't know what the fuck. That, I, it did, whatever it was, it didn't happen. As far as I know, there was a, not a new raid or a cattle battle, <laughs> whatever that is. Cows with guns or something. I, I'm, I'm missing that. Um, so, uh, Vinny, you'll, you'll have to uh, uh, verify me one way or another on uh, that. So, um. <laughs> Vinny also predicted, and big ding on this one. Of course, he had a little say in the matter. Vinny predicted his own return to RLM Radio on the 1st of February 2019. So, yeah, he he did that. <laughs> cool. Ding. All right. Nice. Uh, uh, Cowboy Tech also got this next one right, speaking of Vinny on the radio. Uh, uh, Cowboy Tech predicted that Vinny would do more shows 
without Hansel. <laughs> Which yeah, ding. He he. There were no shows with Hansel. Hansel has never well, been on there. Hans, Han, that would have been quite the show. Hansel has never been on the radio. So, that would have uh, probably been the highest rated show of the year on all of them. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. That would have been the highest rated. But you know, I know Vinny can do it, but I'm I'm sure Hansel would never be on the radio. All right, I I have to give Circle a buzz uh, on okay. this one, the buzz on this next one, because I I I don't know, but maybe it's right. You could tell. Maybe you got a different opinion than I do. Mm-hmm. She said that sex bots will be just as disappointing as everything else. Mm-hmm. Were they? Are they? Is that a ding or a buzz? What happened? She said that sex spots would be just as disappointing as everything else. That didn't happen. So they don't. Well, they're not in existence yet. So, so are they disappointing? I mean, if, if I, I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. I'll go. I'll go ahead and give her a ding because you know I'm disappointed that they're not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! All right, let me see if uh, let's see what what did he pick? Some kind of Ninth Circuit stuff. All right, we'll get to that later. We're 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 not we're not in that mode yet. We're, okay, the, and the last one from last year's predictions. I have to give uh, I have to give Flash a big old ding, 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 Flash. Uh-huh. Wow, Flash got one. Nice Flash. Uh, he could get it right every single year. Oh, okay. It's one of those, like a Cowboy Tech one. The government <laughs> the government wins everything. No, it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, they do. They win. They keep on winning. No, they don't. No, <laughs> fuck, not in my book, they well, don't. Well, maybe, maybe not. They're but... losers. <laughs> They're losers in my book, so yeah. I give a buzz on that one. No. All right. Well, it, it's, a, it's subjective. No, Got it. They just still don't. No. It's fuck it's, you, it's, government. it's fuck you. Free and slave. Did you get any dings? Uh, buzz, 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 no, buzz, buzz, buzz. No. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. No, no, you had you had you had six predictions. Free and slaved. And they were all buzz. And they were all buzz. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, buddy. The the list the the buzz list and the ding list. Well, they'll be in the same list. Will be. I in, think Grimier, I think you won that. Um, I think well, you won let me the see. Circle, maybe you. see. Oh, Cowboy you Tech, but they weren't really predictions. Uh, no. Um, oh, wow. Well, I think, but Vinny had two in a row. But I think you had more dings than Vinny. I'm, Dingy, I'm, I'm a little dingier than Vinny. <laughs> 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 oh wait, what did I do here? I got some of these wrong. Okay, I don't know. Uh oh. Don't do that. No. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't. I, I marked uh, some of mine dings that were actually buzzes. Uh, Uh-oh. Let's uh, see. I know. I'm cheating. See? You're cheating the system. Let's see. I, I, got, your system. Yeah, I got one. See? You're like the government. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I got one. I'm cheating. I got I'm two. Cheating. I got... I got... I got two right. I only got two right. He's actually counting them. Yeah, I only got two right. Okay, Vinny, so you got tied. But, Vinny but, and Grim tied. But I, but I got more wrong than I got What's right. What's anyone that got more than two right, though? I got, I got more wrong than I got right. Um, okay. Let's see. Cowboy Tech got one. He got two. Well, there's a handicap. Cowboy Tech got three, but again, none of his were actually predictions. They weren't really, no. Um. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chloe, Chloe's a hundred percent. She only had one prediction, uh, and she was right. Uh, but two beats one. Two does beat one, but like I said, she uh, she's a hundred percent. I'm not a hundred percent. Oh right, okay, yeah, the handicap. So it depends on percentage. Men got two in a row. Uh, it depends on how you Correct. want to look at it. Um, right. Yeah. So anyway, Vinny, all right. I think Vinny might have won. Vinny might have won. I think Vinny won. Um, I think he did. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> Way to go, Vin Man! Yeah, Vinny for the win! <laughs> and you don't get anything. You get just yeah. recognition. Your, your prize is your prize is nothing. <laughs> you get you, you you get the the respect of your peers. Yes, in the chat, in the RLM chat. Bragging bragging rights. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you get bragging rights. You, you're good. You, you were two for two and no handicap. Or less of a handicap than Grimner had. Can I copy your battle cattle battle thing? Sure. Yeah, you did good. Then. Let, let me see no, what? he did have one, but you had more than he did. So yeah, I would say I, I'm going to say Vin. I'll declare Vin the win winner. Vin, Vin the win. win. All right. Vin the win. All right, there you go. That was that was your prediction. I have no idea what the shit that means. Yeah, so we don't know what the fuck that means. So that was like a z- no. You you had one wrong. Was there a raid or whatever cattle battle gathering? Right, that was a wrong. So you weren't perfect, dude. Don't be thinking you're all high and mighty now, no, because you're not at hundred percent. No, no. Yeah, I, I have no idea what the you fuck that means. Z- or two. Or two. Yeah, so you're not, but you're, Grimner predicted more, and he had more wrong than you, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we're still, I'm, we're, we're giving it to you for the year, Grim, Vin. Well, Circle had two. Oh, oh, see, now you got some competition. Yep, Circle got two right. But Circle did have some z- two. She did, she did. I'd say, okay, Vin and Circle are tied. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm calling it. All right. It's a tie. <laughs> all right all right all right let's play some more music and we'll come back and, okay. then, and then we'll I go pee, so yeah good time yeah and, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll do we'll, <laughs> we'll get into the we'll get into the the 2020 predictions when we come back uh yes. uh and then uh we got other stuff to move along to here so uh uh let's kick it off with a request from miss kate uh this is a cool one i i guess i'm not really familiar with this song uh, but we'll find out right here, right now. So, uh, check it out. Alrighty, I'll be back. We'll be back. And this is for all of you that got predictions wrong. All right, then. I, That's me. I assume. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, Pop, what's the matter with you, man? Hey, it is. Oh, yeah, that's some nice stuff right there, let me tell you. <laughs> it was a uh, cover of uh, Kisses Detroit Rock City uh, by some gals there. Uh, Sir Shen and Zeritskaya featuring Kim and Sh- Sturmak. I-, I don't know how you say their names. Anyway, they rocked it. They rocked it hard. Uh, so, yeah, Mike, if you could redo that last prediction. I was in the middle of uh, editing the list and it. Uh, didn't get saved because I hadn't, uh, yeah, anyway, please do. Uh, anyway, before that, we had All Along the Watchtower with Playing for Change there. So there's some great stuff off that Playing for Change stuff, man. Uh, it's a, just uh, very interesting and, and good stuff. And they pick some songs that are just terrific. And uh, that first track was a uh, Kate request there, New Year's Resolution Blues by Roy Milton and his Solid Senders. So, uh Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, that's what she was talking about. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh, man, that's uh, some good prediction. We have, we actually already have uh, more predictions than we had okay. we had for last year. So. Uh, uh, oh, we do more for last year. We have now more than we had last year. Oh, good. Oh, had, okay. Had for last year, so yeah, that's cool. That's, that's all good. right. Cool. Good yeah. job, people. Yes, absolutely. And uh, as soon as I get these uh, things put in here for the for the next set, then we'll uh, get awesome. in, we'll get into the new the, all this year's new ones, new. So I would recommend. I'm going to say best album of the year for me this year, Home by Billy Strings. All right. And Billy Strings is the name of the dude, but his real name is William Apostle, and the whole band is called Billy Strings. So even though I, it, we say Billy all the time, we're talking about the whole band, because there's Billy Strings on guitar and vocals, uh huh, and there's Jared Walker on mandolin, and Jared Walker is an amazing mandolin player. And then you've got Royal Massant on the bass, the stand-up bass. He's excellent. And then you have Andy Failing on dun, 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 the banjo. The banjo man. And I got a thing for banjos. I got a thing for banjo players. I mean, I don't know why 
but something about that banjo does something to me, <laughs> you know. And I just and he's so freaking cute. <laughs> most of the band, I mean, most banjo players that I've met are freaking cute. So yeah. there you go. All I right, mean, male or female, most of the banjo players I know are cute. So so if so if if I pick up a banjo and start playing, will I suddenly become cute? Yes. Well, you're not. You're always cute, Grim. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're, you're just, yeah, you're already cute. So. All right, all right. Do you play a banjo? <laughs> no. Oh I, my God, that I, would be amazing. I, I don't. I, I don't. Play that would anything. be even cute. That would be more than cute. <laughs> that would be hot. All right, all right. That would be hot at that point. I mean, come on, dude. You know, we go beyond cute now at all that right, point. All right, you know? all right. Yeah. All right. No, what? <laughs> no, I'm right-handed, dude. That's not what he's talking about, but... Uh, he, he better be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you never know. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> hey, oh, you know, God. I have to promote Billy Strings because I am a huge freaking fan. Like, I... I love telling people about Billy Strings. It makes me feel wonderful. It seriously does. Like, especially if they're into it and if they go home and start listening, yeah. I know that they're going to be a fan. Okay. That's, that's the kind of band they are, dude. I'm just saying, if yeah, they are like that. Like, if they are hot. They're very hot. Hot, very right. hot, hot yeah. stuff. They're hot. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, the, the predictions for this year so okay. far. And I say so far because the list will be open until the 3rd, which is next Friday. Okay. Uh, at the, the, the next Friday. So at you the, still have time to think about it. At the end of the show. So go right. ahead and you, and you can predict from any channel that Barman is in. So if you're, okay. in, if you're in any of the one or the other seven channels where Barman is at, um, see, Don is a picker, so you might want to. Yeah, you, awesome. You, I like that. I love that. That's so, awesome. So you might want to. And hook, she's cute. And and I already she, know that she's cute. And she, so you might want to hook but up with her. But not in that not a lesbo way. You might want to no. hook up, you might want to hook up with her. You never know. Not a lesbo way. <laughs> I have. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys! You guys are fucking relentless. Seriously, you guys are so fucking. Oh my god! But but of course, if you do, you always have to go there. If you, like, if, the if you do, <laughs> no, no, I'm not doing it. Whatever you say, don't even say it. Video will be required. Yeah, no, see, no. I knew that was hap- I knew that was coming. And, oh my god, Donna. Can you believe these guys? These these guys are freaking awful. Of course, she believes us. Yes, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, she better not. It's not, it would not happen. Oh, man. Even if it did, never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> All right, on to the predictions for 2020. Okay, well, on, thank on, you. On October 21st, I predicted that Rob, <laughs> Rob Zombie will have some serious health issue revealed in 2020. Now, I hope okay. this doesn't happen. I hope, I hope Rob not. lives long and lives strong, but I but I, I feel that Rob Zombie. Why? I I, I, I don't know why. I just it's just like a inner feeling. It's just a, yeah, it's just a saying. It's just a, uh, and I, I seriously hope this does not happen. But uh, I predict that Rob Zombie will have some serious health issue in 2020. Why him though? Why did you? Did you just had a feeling? A I, just had, I, I watch a lot of Rob Zombie videos a and premonition. listen to interviews. Rob Zombie, I dig Rob Zombie, okay. and um, he's, he's interesting. He's just a cool guy, and and um, you know. So anyway, I don't know. It's just a feeling. Just a feeling. All right. Uh, on November 11th, Free and Slave predicted that the guy from Popeye's Chicken dies. <laughs> Dies from lead poison after body slamming an old woman. That's pretty fucking specific. <laughs> so I, I, well, I think he lead poison probably means bullets, you know. Um, oh, okay. So somebody's going to shoot shoot the guy from Popeyes. I don't know who that is, but after body slamming an old woman. Okay, and that okay. I hope that doesn't happen. I yeah, I don't know who the guy is, but whatever. I don't either. Uh, it's like, why would you? Why? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I, uh, that's fine. Now, if if you want specific, this is specific. My next my next prediction. Oh, he was shot. I, 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 oh, I he was kid. shot? Oh, okay. The fucking 
right. Popeye's guy. I don't even know who the fuck he is, no, but no, no, okay. No. All right, my my next prediction from November twelfth, mm-hmm. and this is very specific. Well, okay. Uh, very well. It, it's one twelfth specific. <laughs> okay. I predict that Jimmy Carter will die in March of 2020. March. Ooh, that's specific. Yeah. 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 Huh. Okay. Okay. My next one's kind of a joke, but it's uh, I, I I I almost guarantee myself a ding 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 on this one. Um, okay. I on uh, November 14th I predicted that Beetle will predict. He doesn't predict. He predicts. No, he predicts. He predicts. Beetle yeah. will predict <laughs> many, many things. Yes. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Yes, I agree, Free. That's not cool. Not at all. <laughs> all right. On November 15th, Flash somebody predicted Vinny will still be ignored on all of his live shows by his number one fan. It didn't happen. Well, okay. Well, that's, that that's, that's, next, that's next year. This is for next year. Uh, and okay. you, know, you, know who his number, you know who his number one fan is? I think I do. Hansel. Hansel. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Of course. So yeah, Vin, I know. Vinny, Hansel has a big heart on for Vinny. Yeah, he's number he's number one fan, man. I tell you. He does. I know. He likes that hillbilly. He he won't. You know he does. It's so obvious. I, I can all, all already give Grams a, a ding on her prediction here on okay. November on November fifteenth. She says, as of January first, everyone will have twenty twenty vision and hindsight, <laughs> but it won't change a thing. <laughs> right. Yeah, we'll have be the year 2020, but we won't really have 2020 vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Meister Brow on November 15th predicted Trump pardons Roger Stone. Okay. Okay. Um, great. I, I sure maybe will. I, I don't know. Uh, I, 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 I don't know how that works. I think isn't there some kind of saying if you're impeached you can't pardon anybody until the impeachment's over? I I I don't know. I think that's a rule somehow. I think that's a rule. Okay. Okay. My next two predictions here, but the next two are my predictions. Mm-hmm. November 26, I predicted, and I'm sure this is right. New Mexico will pass legalized recreational marijuana in the 2020 congressional session, and the governor will sign the bill. All right. So that is a more than just a hope. It's, I think, something that will happen uh, in the coming year. I also predicted on November 28th that Alex Trebek will retire. Oh. I know, I know, but you know he's he's old. He's, he's yeah, he is. He's, he's, you know, he, he had that battle with cancer, and it, right, you know, he's got that pancreatic cancer, and it's not well, over yet. So yeah, I agree. I could, you know, if he does, I would be happy for him. Yeah, you know, he's been on there so find long. A, find a decent replacement. You know, they can find somebody that would be comparable. Yeah, I yeah, I, I don't know. Um, so uh, all right. Um, <laughs> Flash, <laughs> Flash, <laughs> he's such a clown. All right. <laughs> Flash predicted on November 29th, an, an alien invasion sponsored by Israel and the United States. <laughs> I'm not saying that couldn't happen. So uh, a, fake in, a fake alien invasion uh, sp- sponsored by Israel and the U.S. Um, so what, what's that now? Um. Oh, okay, Mike. Thanks, Mike, for re-predicting that, or re- redoing that prediction. Appreciate it, and uh, Donna for yours. Um, if he retires, he'll be dead by the end of the year. That could <laughs> that could be a prediction for you to make there, Rob. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, because uh, it's a prediction in the waiting. It's just sitting there. Like, yeah, yeah, I would that's, take it. that's I would, that, I would that, try it. That would be his final jeopardy. Oh my God! All right, uh, Rob works predicts, and and uh, I I have to agree with Rob on his prediction. Although we okay. don't, it has 2020 is not here yet, but I'm pretty sure he's right. 
<laughs> so on December sixth, Rob, Rob, Rob uh, Work predicted Rob Works predicted that nothing much will change. I would agree with that. <laughs> right. I'm already giving you a ding, ding, ding on that one. <laughs> the next, the next prediction by Miss Moose Girl here on right. the, on December sixth. Okay. The Dallas Cowboys coach will be fired. I believe that will happen. Now I, I thought I thought they already did that, but I did don't they know. Already, no, not yet. I don't think so. Well, I saw I saw a meme about Rose, it. Oh, are you here? I saw a meme about it. That doesn't mean it happened. It was yeah, just a meme. No, I think they want it to happen. I, I, it's going to happen. Okay, now an actual now an actual prediction by Flash. Okay. <laughs> the banks will crash in 2020 and bring us another bailout for big business with even better fairy tale ending than the crash of 2008. Uh, yeah, because are they going to let them? Or, or are they going to be able to prevent it? It will be big enough that they, yeah. they, that they can't prevent it? Yeah, so we'll see. I guess we'll this see. is neither going on that one. Well, you can't, yeah, that, you, got, you got 365 days before you can, right. before you can oh, sorry. buzz that. Sorry. All right. Um, <laughs> on December seventeenth, Rob Works predicted. Yeah, think work right. <laughs> wait, wait. On December seventeenth, and, and I don't know what he know what he means by this year. I don't, I don't know if he means twenty twenty or twenty nineteen. But December seventeenth, Rob Works predicts that Vinny will leave at least three times more this year. <laughs> <laughs> leave RLL. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh my God! I, 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 I hope that I, doesn't happen. I hope it's not too. <laughs> yeah, you know, I hope that we, you know, it doesn't happen. Oh God! Okay, um, <laughs> <laughs> on December nineteenth, Flash somebody predicted. Uh, not really, not really a pre not really a prediction, but okay. pre he predicted things will appear different. But they will be exactly the same as they have always been. Well, that's not really a prediction. That's one of those cowboy tech predictions. <laughs> yeah. That's one of those cowboy tech type predictions. Yeah, yeah. So, obvious things. <laughs> Predicting the obvious isn't a prediction, dude. I'm sorry, then it's not. <laughs> hey, Hansel. <laughs> okay, on on December nineteenth, Vin E predicted. Trump will say, fuck it, I was depressed, and not rerun. Well, he's rerunning, no. but that, yeah, that's... He's re You're already wrong, well, man. You, you, got until, wrong yeah, you got until November, you know, maybe you, right. you'll be right. Yeah. So uh, we don't know that we can't buzz you yet. But, no. uh, <laughs> Almost, th there, it should be working right now. What? The buzz meter. Oh. It was, it was malfunctioning. <laughs> I had to, Okay, okay. Um, all right. Uh, Flash somebody on December 20th predicted Trump is replaced with Pence. Pfft. Hooray. It's already wrong. No, it's not because he could still... Well, no, because it's got to go to the Senate, but the Senate's controlled by the Republicans, so like the Republicans are going to impeach their... Impeach but but, their but duty. anything could happen. Anything could happen. We don't I, know. I know. Okay. Well, we don't That's know. a good prediction. We don't, we don't know. Never mind. My bad. Okay, Free Enslaved predicted on December 20th that his 2019 prediction of 5K, 5K Bitcoin for Christmas 2019 is, 2000, is 2K higher at 7K. Now, I don't know what he means by that. 2019 prediction of 5K. Well, it's, it's over 7K, but that, this is 2019. Is this a 2019 prediction or a 2020 prediction? I, I, I don't really get it. <laughs> See, people um, are getting like, yeah, we're trying to like blend the years or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Vinny. Predicting oh. the obvious is not a prediction. <laughs> Vinny. <laughs> Vinny predicted on December 20th, my name will be said repeatedly throughout the year. <laughs> I, oh, that's, that's one of those, the, the <laughs> predicting the obvious is not a prediction. prediction. <laughs> Sorry, I just typed that. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, exactly, Rob. It's not. It, it, come on now. Oh God. Okay. On December twenty fourth, Christmas Eve, I predicted, and I'm sure I'm right on this. Okay. You will hear the phrase, 
the 2020 election is the most important election in your life. Oh, yeah. Many, many times. That's kind of like predicting the obvious room. <laughs> I know, I know, but... That's kind of like predicting the obvious room. All right, also on that same day, I predicted World War Three is coming to a planet near you. Okay. In the movies or in real life? Real life. <laughs> real... <laughs> Real. I believe no. I don't want it to happen, but I think it could happen. Yeah. Okay. Now this next one, it was a, it was an actual Christmas Day prediction, and it could be a Christmas gift to you all if it okay. was was to come to pass. I predicted George Soros will die. Ooh, good one. With, with the question, can the undead die? Here we go. He's another robot. He's up. To, we we have determined that there's about four robots now that are among us that are in the government. At least, at least. Yeah, at um, least. Okay. I mean, obviously, there's at least yeah, four. Yeah. Uh, also on Christmas Day, Flash somebody predicted. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, made made the made the joke. Um, yeah, a fart wave for lame predictions. That would be good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so Flash somebody said, uh, I'm not going to say predicted, Trump will ascend to the heavens and reign for 10,000 years. So in, in the year uh, 1,019, 1,020, we can answer that question. Yeah, right. Now, I, I, I again, and I don't know why I repeated my prediction, but uh -oh. I, I again predicted that New Mexico will legalize recreational weed. <laughs> You're, you're, you're excited. I'm, it's a plane. I'm, I'm on it. I want that to happen. You'd be happy if you, you would be unhappy if you live in Wisconsin, dude. Like, Wisconsin and Minnesota are the lamest, some of the lamest states in the nation as far as weed goes. Yeah. Minnesota is a little bit better than Wisconsin, but not much. Okay. It's fucking lame. We got Michigan and we got Illinois for our border and the Wisconsin border, and yet Wisconsin stays fucking lame. All right. I fucking hate it. It's fucking ridiculous. It makes no fucking sense. Okay. Now, Sorry. um Sorry, Vinny, I'll get off my soapbox now. That's all right. <laughs> I know you're right, though. So. All right. Um, <laughs> Vinny Vogue, he was, that was his nick one day, Vinny Vogue. Okay. Uh, the many, one of the many Vinnies, uh, predicted on the day after Christmas, and he's going to have to explain what this means. Okay. Uh, I think I have, to, I know what it has to do with, but okay. America's war in the West will come to the brink of civil war. What does war that mean exactly? I don't what? know. I don't. I don't really understand mm. what that either, means. But... but he predicted that. So, and shortly, okay. short, shortly after he predicted that, um, maybe a minute. <laughs> okay. Okay. For for no obvious reason, no connection between his prediction and mine. I, I, I predicted that Vinny will falter at some time during the year and smoke again. You know, Vinny. Cigarettes or weed? You know, you know, Vinny quit smoking, so. Oh, no, I did not know that. Oh, yeah, Good Vinny quit you, smoking man. a couple, three weeks ago. Good for you. And, and so I predict that he will falter sometime during next year and smoke again. Okay, well, we don't have no way of, of proving that, you know. Okay. And today, the rest of these really? are from the rest of these are from today, tonight during the show here. Prince predicted that the real doomsday asteroid, June twelfth, twenty twenty. That's that very specific. Dude. At at twenty one twenty nine thirty three. Wow. At not only the day and the but time. the actual time the real doomsday wow. asteroid would arrive. Very so, specific. Uh, and you said you didn't want that to happen, and Prince said he didn't want it to happen. But come on. Let's let it happen. All right. <laughs> That's you, dude. That's you. All right. <laughs> Rob Works predicted that someone on The View will have an aneurysm when, <laughs> when, 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 when Trump gets reselected. <laughs> oh, that would be Megan. Uh, no, it wouldn't be Megan. It would be Whoopi. It would be Whoopi. That would have I, I don't know, you know, whoever's on there. I, don't, I couldn't care less. I don't even fucking know. Okay. Uh, Prince also uh, predicts that Vermin Supreme 
will win the popular vote as well oh. as the, as well as the electoral college, and will choose a watermelon as his vice. <laughs> Work thing. Work. Now's the sort of next year. That'd be funny. That'd be funny, Prince. It would, but yeah. No. Cowboy tech. No way would I fucking. I mean, the only way I would support him is if there was a non-vote. Yeah. Well, whatever. I, 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 I don't have, even know if I would support him then, but because he's a fucking psycho, he wears a fucking boot on his goddamn head. Yeah, he's Fuck. a crazy dude. But yeah, you he, know, he he's he's just the one that shows that he's crazy. They're all fucking crazy. Right, we're all fucking nuts. Well, they are. They are if especially. You think you're not nuts? Then that means you're even more nuts. All right, um, Cowboy Tech so, uh, uh, suggests that next year Linux will become more popular. Um, I agree. It's going to continue to become more popular. Oh yeah, I agree with especially that one. That's Especially like with a non-prediction. Especially, almost. well, no, it's it's a good it's a good prediction. Yeah, it is, it's, it's, uh, it's, but especially with the phasing out of uh, Win Seven well, support, Win Seven support ends in uh, right. Yeah, like uh, less, Hal was talking about less than a month. So I, I predict yep. that Linux will become more popular, and, no, uh, yep. and Windows actually has a kind of a subsystem of Linux yes. built into it now, uh, Windows Ten. So, uh, yeah, I, right. I, I think he's so, right. So, okay, so anybody that's, like, nervous about, oh, my God, I have to switch to a different, you know, blah, 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 don't worry. Linux is, e if you're used to using Windows and you're used to using a computer for however many years, you will have no problem adjusting to a Linux system. Right, Trust me. right. I mean, seriously, I had to do it because the computer before this one, I had no choice but to switch to Linux because it would would not operate proper, properly with Windows. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. so I am I am proof positive here. I'm telling you, like a little, you know, uh, what do they call that? I don't know. You know, in commercials, like real life story or whatever. Oh, I don't know. You're a cheerleader. I can't I can't think of the word. Whatever. But anyway, I'm telling you from experience that trust me. When I switched to Linux, I was a little bit nervous about it, but I knew that Grimner had my back because he he's my tech dude. He totally got me hooked up on it. I mean, you just it, – it, it looks the same. You you know, if you know how to navigate Windows, you'll be able to navigate certain Linux systems without problems. I mean, obviously there's more in-depth ones or whatever, but if you just do a basic normal Linux system, you'll be fine. Right. And you don't have to go out and buy a new computer then. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You can use your same computer, same monitor, same everything. Yeah. Just oh, on yeah. a different operating system. It's it's totally fine. It, it it you will get used to it. It might take a little bit of a learning curve, but I'm gonna tell you it's probably a couple days. Yeah. You'll be you'll be fine. Yeah, no problem. Whatsoever. And then there's so many like if you have an issue with the Linux system, you can go out and get the answers. If you can't get the answers at RLM, then you can get the answers in a Linux forum. You know? Oh sure, there's ton, there's tons of information out there. Right, right. Or or anywhere uh, right here on IRC, there's tons of Linux channels. So yeah, uh, I mean, if you have will... a question, tech question, you don't have to call fucking some fucking dude in India that doesn't know his fucking shit, his head from his fucking ass. Right, right. You know, you can. Do, I mean, there's seriously better support for a Linux system. Oh yeah, seriously, yeah, it's because it's, I mean, it's community. Way better. Yeah, it's a good community. Oh, yeah, it is. I mean, you guys, I mean, the reason I use Windows right now is because I I had a computer built for me, but I am going to, I do want, I don't think we ever did this yet, Grim, but I do need to par partition off and install Linux on this on this machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. And you're better off installing it, even if you don't use it, get it get it installed. So then if your fucking Windows takes a shit, you're, you don't lose a beat, right? You You got the Linux system ready to go. Yep. I would totally suggest that for everybody. Sure. Yeah, seriously. I mean, I was a little bit nervous, but, Grim, you know, I trust Grimner. We've been friends for however many fucking years, you know. I'm like, he's not going to fuck me over, you know. <laughs> and he's not going to put a system on there that he doesn't think I can't handle. Absolutely. You know, so it, I would seriously suggest that. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. All right. No, I'm not now, but if I want, if when this, when Windows does die or even to have the option to go to Linux if I don't want to use Windows sometime. Yeah. Just to have it installed in my system is that's what I need to do. And that's what oh, everyone sure. should do. Yeah, in my opinion. So whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Alright, going on with uh, predictions for this year. 
Um, the next two are just re, I re-predicted what I predicted last year. So, uh, maybe they'll happen this year. My, my, my first re-prediction was a 9.0 earthquake somewhere along the Pacific Rim. And my next one was Ross Ulbricht will be released from prison. Now, I don't actually believe that will happen because the government sucks. But, yep. um, I, I really think Ross needs to be let go. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah. And same with Leonard Peltier. Yeah. I well, can say this well, a lot of people, but for one for Peltier. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, all right, all right. That's that's a ridiculous imprisonment too. All right, SLC Mike predicts Julian Assange will commit suicide, and I would add or be suicided. Yeah, right. There you go. Uh, yeah, because government hates yeah, him. Yeah, they don't like him. Yeah, no, they hate his ass. Yeah, they don't like him. All right, uh, Vin E predicted that. The United States Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, I don't know where that is, uh, 2020 session in Las Vegas will okay, overturn okay. Judge Navarro's Bundy et al. dismissal with prejudice ruling. I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> yes, many, politi- many, many political prisoners need to be let go, Rob, uh, without a question. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I just, you know, free Ross, for one, to get it started. All right. Cowboy Tech, 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 Cowboy tech predicts dollar revaluation in 2020. I, I, to what degree? I don't right. know. you got to be more specific, buddy. Nice try. I mean, good one, though. No, good no, one. I mean, it could be, you know, 5%, 12%, 20%, 100%. Right, it, Right, we, yeah, you we, know, we, but, but, but you know, we'll, we'll just see. Though. We'll, we'll, it's a prediction, so we'll see. We'll yeah, see. it's a prediction, right? All right, Moose Girl predicts that Billy Strings <laughs> will win a Grammy for the best bluegrass album of 2019. Now, I didn't even know they had a bluegrass crook category in the Grammy. No, you yes, they do, and the infamous String Busters won two years ago. Okay, now this next one, I got to correct Free and Slave on uh, because. Barman, think of yourself, uh, free or anybody <laughs> or, or anybody else. Is there a free and slave 2.0 or a free and slave 3.0? No, barman's the same way. He's an entity, <laughs> a living, breathing. Well, not so much breathing. Oh, not so much breathing, but <laughs> right. he, he, he's, he he grows, but he doesn't. He doesn't. There's not like a versions of he's barman. Like a plant, like so, a like a. So, Barman 3.0 spawns in 2020. Plant. He's like uh, a plant. Yeah, so that's not that's not really. Well, he's more than a plant. He's he's more of a, a pet. <laughs> All right, Donna Dam Van Meter says I will move. Okay, good, okay. good, good, Donna. Okay. Uh, move, definitely move, Donna. All right, uh, that would be good. Um. Uh, Free and Slave predicts that weekend at Ruth Bader Ginsburg uh, continues after the 2020 election, uh, like weekend at Bernie's, I assume. Um, <laughs> we, we, weekend at Ruth Bader Ginsburg's. Oh, oh yeah, I want to see that movie. All right, uh, Donna also predicts that Daniel Riley and Jason Gerhard, Ed and er, er, Elaine Brown supporters, will be released from federal prison. Let's hope, Donna. Uh yeah, let's get get them free. Set them set them free. Uh, Mike SLC Mike predicts America will be at war. Well, when that's ha- a given. When, yeah, when, that's, that's almost a non-prediction, well, but well, yeah. When have they not been at war? Right, exactly. <laughs> that's kind of a non-prediction, dude. I'm sorry to say, but yeah, I I didn't want. But it, you know, you never know. It's a good, you know. Okay, Free and Slave predicts, uh, of course, I don't know how this applies to next year, but uh, but maybe it will, we'll see. Uh, because of a constitutional tort, President Trump figures out how to run and win a third term. Uh, of course, that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be until 2024. Um, right, uh, but, but uh, if he, yeah, you it, never know. It could happen. <laughs> it's a legit prediction. Okay, but, all right, let's go. We'll get the resolutions after after this set here that, all right. that we've got lined up for you all. All right, enjoy, people, and thanks for tuning in. It's it's 
It's awesome. I love yeah, like yeah, you guys. Yeah. I love the prediction show. It's one of my favorite shows out of the whole year. Yeah, mine too. Mine so, too. Yeah, it's really fun. Thanks, guys, for participating. Yeah, predicting and making resolutions. Yeah. And Enjoying the tunes. And yeah. Yeah. Awesome. We'll be this, back. Yeah, here we go. Listen to Joe. Ah, uh, so true, Bond, so true. Ain't no fun waiting around to be a millionaire. Bond's got uh, ACDC from the Dirty Deeds Done Cheap album. A uh, great uh, cowboy tech request there. Before that, we had Mr. Neil Fox doing his famous song, Fuck the Fad. And we kicked it off with Joe Bonamassa uh, with a Black Winter Django uh, off the British Blues Explosion album there. Good, 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 good stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, hey, how can you argue hey. with good? How can you argue with good music like that? Uh, you can't. You shouldn't. You couldn't. You shouldn't. You couldn't. You can't. Don't do it. Right. Don't I even try. Do it. Don't even get try. Get teared up. <laughs> get teared up. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right then. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. So I found something. Uh, uh, so okay. I want to say. All right. All right. Since it's the new year. New and decade. And not with don't have partners. Partners. You know what I mean? Don't have a person in their life. Don't have a significant other, a wife, a husband, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So, I found this, and this is from two weeks ago. And it's called, it's from the, it's from the website called What's Vital. W-H-A-T-Z-V-I-R-A-L. And it says, stay single. Until you find someone that who puts effort into loving you every day. Life is always good when you're su- surrounded by the right kind of people, the ones who will che- cheer you up and help you to stand up during your bad moments. However, when you have someone negative and gloomy around you, all your good vibes will also fade away. So many people think a lot before choosing a life partner. You are most likely to spend the rest of your life with that person. If you take a bad if you take a bad decision, your life would be an utter failure. You must remember that love is supposed to heal and not damage you. If your partner gives you tears instead of smiles, then how can you you ever be happy with that one? Right. If you cannot discuss your issues with him or her, listen to some soothing words at the end of a tiring day or get a comfy cuddle. Do you think that you can spend the rest of your life with him or her? It is always better to be single than settling for someone who is not worthy to have you. When you love from the deepest corner of your heart and you give your best for the relationship, don't you deserve the same treatment from the other side too? So stay single until you find someone who is willing to give you as much as you are for the sake of a strong and healthy relationship. Even though you might be desperately looking for someone and thinking that being single is bad, the truth is that being single is really a blessing. You get to appreciate and love yourself for who you are, and you won't get the same time and opportunity to look after yourself when you are with someone. So study yourself better and try to understand what you really need in your life. On one fine day, that person will come into your life and will surely make it a better one. That one person will show you what true love means, and his presence or her presence, will you would feel appreciated and valued. Your every word, every smile will make his day or her day a better one, and he will be in love with you from head to toe. He or her will be in love with you from head to toe. So don't settle until you find someone who puts effort into making your relationship work. There will be ups and downs in every relationship, but with the right person, those drawbacks will leave a mark in your love, and they will only teach you lessons to make you love the best one. So stay single till you find that one. You are... And you will, we are sure that you will get the best. There you go. Cool. Link me. I mean, okay, let me get the link. Oh, shit. Let's fucking close it. <laughs> but I have it. Oh, I can go to history. Recently closed tabs. There we go. Blah, blah, blah. 
Got it. <laughs> All right. Anyway, yeah, I mean, so this is part of what I wanted to talk about. This goes into my resolution, kind of, which I haven't posted, but my own personal res- resolution is avoid toxic people. Notice the red flags that toxic people give off right away. And don't let them, don't let myself be manipulated. Right. When I can see the writing on the wall right away. Right? Sure. So this has been like, 2019 was my year of realizing this, I think. And I don't know why, but for some reason, that was, that seems to be in the forefront. And it's like, I am done. I am done being yeah. around toxic fucking people. Like, a lot. Right, you know? right, right. I mean, it just drags you down. They are energy vampires. They are predators. They are desperate people that feel like shit about themselves, and they need other people to to not feel that way. That means they're users and abusers, and they're predators, and just learn about learn about toxic people, people. Sure, sure. Because seriously, they will wreak havoc in your fucking life. Okay, they will. They'll fucking wreak havoc in your life. Yeah. And it seems to be like this epidemic lately. It's like I, I've I've come to the conclusion right now that nine one out of ten people is a fucking not, full on narcissist, and this is seriously not good statistics here. Okay? Right, right, right. Narcissists are unhealthy motherfuckers, and they'll fucking use you. I mean, you just can't. I've been watching so many videos this year. On YouTube about narcissism. Yeah. It's not even funny. I mean, it's like, seriously, my biggest question still, after watching all these videos and doing all this research, is how do you. I don't know. Not, that's not even the question. I'm sorry. I can't even put it into words right now, but it's just like, I can't believe how many people out there are like that. I guess sure, I still yeah. that's my that's my like big wow like there's so many people out there that are like this and what that yeah. tells me and I've been I've been trying to think about it like what's the cause of it what's and part most of the the answer I come up is society right and just in general and the toxic environment that we've been brought up in for so many generations and the lies and the whole just deception and everything. Some people react differently to that and that stimuli. You know sure, what I mean? Sure, sure, sure. And so, like with the advertising and everything, oh, you're supposed to look like this and be that. It's just like it's so fake, dude. I understand. <laughs> it's so fake. But yeah. this is. I'm not going to get off topic here. But I just I thought that was that article was really interesting. Yeah, and no, I, 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 you know, I, I like it. It's a good, good article. Yeah. No. I have seriously been in this mindset for a while. I know. And if you're not in that mindset, like if you, you know what I mean, then sure. you you need to try to be. And part of being single is you can learn about yourself and you can know what you will accept and what you will not accept from another person. Right. You know, there's certain boundaries and lines that you draw, which maybe in your past you didn't draw those lines before. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, and that, so part of being single is it's self-discovery. Oh, yeah. It's totally self-discovery. And some people get really bummed out. They're like, oh, I have to have somebody in my life. And they're so like, when they're single, they're so worried about getting the next person that they fail to like take this time for themselves to like be, okay, you know, what do I need? What do I, you know, relationships are fucking difficult. You have to be in the right mindset to be in a healthy one if that's what you want. Absolutely. Unfortunately, people just like get in relationships for stupid reasons and it's not even real and it's just like it's it's all fucked up. You know what I mean? That's not the way to be, dude. Yeah, not at all. No. So anyway, that's just part of my resolution for next year is I'm going to keep being on the bandwagon of self-realization, knowing what I want, knowing what I won't put up with, what I w- you know what I mean? Sure, yeah, great. And that way, hopefully there's someone else out there like that, 
and we hook up. Cool. You know, I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying? I do. I do. I do. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm cool. gonna I'm gonna drop a link in there right now. Uh, right. This this is the 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 calendar that I use. This is the what's all it has all all those little codes after that. That'll be the exact calendar that I print out and stick on my wall. Uh, it's it's a one month per page calendar and uh, just print it out, tack it up on your wall. Oh and, yeah, I like that link because you do that every year. Yeah, every year I do that so. Uh, yeah, and, that. and so it, it sucks because right now, mm-hmm. at work, like the, the toner is low, but it's still good enough for our letters and everything. Yeah. So, but if I want to try to print out a calendar, it's like, no, it, you can barely see it. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, like, well, just get, 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 okay. sh- shake up that toner cartridge and uh, it'll help Oh, yeah, you. we do that. We, right. we shake it up. We We milk those toner cartridges because they give you the warning way far ahead of time. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. But, so, yeah, no, that's a good link, Grim. Thank you. It is a good link. Always yeah. post that, you it'll, know? it'll be I'll, it'll be in the uh, it'll be in the blog. So and people don't think about it, but you know, for me though, I just like to have a regular calendar with pictures. Yeah, and, you know, I, don't know that. I don't need all that. You know, I do. Yeah. I, I like it. I'm a geek. You know, I'm weird. You know? Okay. <laughs> we had uh, <laughs> we had we had two more predictions roll in, both from Chloe. Uh, first one is she believes, and I'm going to say this ain't going to happen, but uh, she believes that I will share a YouTube of my first guitar instrumental. Um, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. That but, would be cool. You never know, Grim. Yeah, you never know. And her second prediction is Trumpy will lose in 2020. So uh, that's a possibility. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Okay, going on to the resolutions. We only have a few. Uh okay. but but here we go. Uh resolutions. I I resolve to get more sleep. And I think cool. it's good, I think it's a good resolution. I need that more. Is good. I like that one. I only get, that. you know, four or five maybe six hours at the most, but usually four or five and so I'm not very good yeah, at it. Like, uh Vinny predicts that he like, will uh, uh, Vinny uh, it should have been a prediction and not a resolution, Vinny, that he will witness ter- tyranny, which, of course, of course he will. Uh, Vinny uh, does resolve, though, to hike more miles. So okay, go, cool. Go, That's Vinny, go. One. Go, Vinny, go. Uh, yeah. And Vinny resolves to bring more radio interviews to Real Liberty Media. So, uh, cool. great, man. That's a great. good one. Bring them on. Bring them on. Yeah, Cir- bring them on, baby. Circle resolves to learn something new, which terrific. Okay. Uh, terrific. I, I resolve to learn that every day. Like, I've already made that resolution. Like, All right. So then you can. No, that's can, a good one. You can learn. You, you can resolve to learn 365 new things. Yes, you can. Wait, 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 wait. 366. It's a leap year. Uh, oh, it is. <laughs> yeah. Correct. Uh, Vinny also resolves to write full articles this year. So great. Okay. Terrific. Hey, writing is good. It's therapeutic, Winnie. It's very good. If you need some et- proof, editing or proofreading, let me know. I'll help you out. Okay. Uh, Moose Girl resolves to go to a Linux system. So, yes, hooray. I did predict that. And you know what? Because it, it's a good idea. Yeah, it is a good idea. And that, that's all the resolutions we have right now. But feel free to get your resolutions on in there, and, and we will... Um, be glad to to uh, put them up on the blog if you want. All right. Yeah, I mean because Windows sucks, dude. You, you know, I mean if I trust Grimner and if Grimner uses Linux and I'm all, and Cowboy Tech and a bunch of other people. Oh yeah. I'm all good because it is seriously way better than Windows. You feel you feel safer. Like I'm not kidding you even. Okay. You don't well, have to the... worry about all the stupid updates. You don't have to worry about the Windows shit. Right. You right. Just, you're away from Windows. When you're on Linux, okay, it's a good thing. The, resol- the resolutions is a new feature for this year. It uh, is so. So get your resolutions in. Should you actually decide to actually do something next year? For me, sleep. It, it, it sounds easy, but it's not. Um, <laughs> it's just it's not. Uh, so anyway, we'll, we'll see how that works. Uh, <laughs> all right, another new feature, and this is uh, the first time I've done this, but. Uh, we're doing it now. We're doing it here. We're doing it live. The yes, we are. T- and what I've called it is the top 
12 Freakers Ball stories of 2019. However, however, they're not really the top 12 Freakers Ball stories of 2019. What they are is the ones I selected randomly pretty much from I picked one per month. I was gonna I was gonna do uh the, the top ten uh stories of Freaker, from Freakers Ball on twenty nineteen, but it it was I it, I just did it this way, so it's uh one 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 high high profile story from one of one of the shows per month uh throughout the year. Uh so here we go with those. Number one Hacker Group releases 9-11 papers, says future leaks will burn down the U.S. deep state. Uh, that was from the January 4th show. Uh, and what this says is the Dark Overlord Hacker Group has released decryption keys for 650 documents it says are related to 9-11. Unless a ransom is paid, it's threatened with more leaks that will have devastating consequences for the U.S. deep state. Now, we're at the end of the year. This was on January 4th. And as far as I know, that hasn't happened. The deep state has not been burned down. Uh, but that was what they predicted, or, or not predicted, what they said was going to happen. Because they released uh, the keys for those documents. So, uh, is the deep state still standing? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, number two, NASA launches department dedicated to finding aliens. Uh, this was posted on Mysterious Universe, uh, and it was on the February 22nd Figures Ball Show. Uh, it said, a few months ago, NASA held a conference on ways to detect artificial techno-signatures of alien life byproducts of civilizations like radio waves, pollutants, and garbage. Uh, they, I guess that's a, the signs of civilization on Earth. Uh, they seem to be taking, taking the search for extraterrestrials seriously and have announced the creation of a new department dedicated to the search for alien life. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, all right. I like, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know either. I, as far as I know, they haven't found any alien life yet. Yeah, they haven't announced it if they have found it. Right. Okay, number three. Believing conspiracy theories <laughs> m might make you a criminal. This was on March for the March 1st Frickers show. And it was on um, Believing Con on uh, New York Post. Uh, it says here, people who buy into outrageous conspiracy theories say that no human ever walked on the moon or ancient pyramids were built by aliens are more inclined to actively engage in antisocial behavior. Now, I don't know how antisocial uh, aligns with criminal, <laughs> but according to them, uh, that that's what they have to say about that. Okay. okay. <laughs> the, the number four story fully vaccinated children actually spreading measles. And... Of course. And the government knows it. <laughs> of course they do. This, uh. was, this was on the April 12th Freakers Ball show. Um, uh, and it was posted on... Uh, where was it posted? Uh, Vaccineimpact.com. And it says... We are witness to an orchestrated frenzy that has been revved up by vaccine stakeholders, i.e., those who have a direct or indirect financial stake in vaccines through the corporate academic institutions that employ them. Employ them. Their unified objective is to achieve maximum utilization of vaccines and total compliance with vaccination schedules set by the government in collaboration with vaccine manufacturers. Never disclosed to the public, but known to the CDC officials, is the following evidence that has finally been published in the Journal of Clinical Microbiology in 2017. During the measles outbreak in California in 2015, a large number of suspected cases uh, occurred in recent vaccine ease. 
of the 194 measles virus sequences obtained in the in the United States in 2015, 73 were identified as vaccine Jesus. sequences. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, Rebecca McNall. That was a good one. That was a good story. That was a good pick for that month, Grim. It was. was Uh, Yeah. A lot of people aren't even aware of that one. Absolutely. Absolutely. A lot lot of these, I mean, we we talk about them and they they go in. That's why we're the freakers ball. They go in and out of people's brains. They never do. They don't, or they don't even see the story at all because they, they, they don't, they don't pay attention. Right. They don't. Yeah. Okay. Uh, On the May, the number, number five on the May 10th freakers ball show. Denver just became the first U.S. city to decriminalize psychedelic mushrooms. Yes, I <laughs> like it. <laughs> In a surprise turn of events, a Denver ballot initiative to effectively decriminalize psychedelic mushrooms, previously thought to have failed, now appears to have narrowly passed after all. This would make the Mile High City the first in the U.S., to decriminalize psilocybin. That was posted on Denver, uh, I mean, uh, Reason.com. So, yay! <laughs> yay, we talked about that story a lot of times. We talked about psilocybin mushrooms curing depression yeah. a lot. We talked about the decriminalize, the delete, or whatever, of, of them. Sure, and sure. And the fact that they do, they can cure depression. Seriously, you guys take two mushroom trips in a year, you won't have problems with depression. Oh, no, of course not. No, you'll be good for a year. It only takes one or two trips a year. It's yep. not like you have to be on them every day. Like everyone talks about microdosing. It's like I would, I could not do microdosing mushrooms every day. I mean, if it came to that, I could. But yeah, you, you could, would, you could. Not, I think it would have to be in capsules, you know what I mean? It would yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely, in, in capsules. I mean, That's how they do it. Right, I mean, because they, it would have to be controlled because you'd have to know exactly how much... It would be like any prescription. Sure, sure. You no, know, but if you do like one or two mushrooms oh, not a, pres- a year, not a prescription, up. not a prescription, a supplement. Yeah, a supplement, yeah, right? Like you know, but you have to know the doses that you need for you, for you. You know what I'm yeah. saying, Graham? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like everyone's different. So, but what I'm saying, if you just do two or th- one or two mushroom trips a year, you'll be good. Oh, sure. I mean, seriously. And you'll have a great time. Trip, and you'll no, have or a great an trip. I don't care as as long as you're. Any any good psychedelic, so exactly as long as you're learning. See, for me, the biggest thing that I've noticed about when I'm tripping, yeah, is that I'm learning. See, yeah, but with, with micro dosing, it's really with, weird. Like you know it too. It's just really weird. It's yeah, like, but oh but, my God. but with my <laughs> with, with, with with micro dosing, you're not really tripping. No, exactly. Yeah. You're not. You're just you're just, man, you're just you know, elevated. But you. if that works for depression. I'm all for that. Oh yeah, it, it, well, you know, it, it's, it's a natural it's, thing to it's, cure depression. Well, not only that, not only for depression, but it's also for improved thinking, impro- improved cognition. Right, improved cognitive ability. I mean, right. seriously, dude, if you've never tripped on a drug like LSD or acid, you should seriously try to do that sometime in your life. Absolutely, and because it's, it's just, you, you will be floored. You will be like, you will feel so fucking. I mean, it's so hard to explain, but oh yeah. Oh yeah, because everyone's different in how they react to it. But and uh, as Donna points out, Oakland also went for the for the legal shrooms. Yes, and other other cities did too. I think San Francisco was but, one of them. But but I the, think but, Portland uh, was one of them. Portland for sure. But Denver Portland was first. Was Denver Denver was first. Denver was first, but Portland is on the ba- same thing now. Right. Yep. Okay. Which is awesome. Uh, okay, go ahead. The, the number six story. Okay. Um, so we're in June now. We're in June, June fourteenth, Freak Freakers Ball. Okay. Government at its best. Report all criminal charges dropped against eight people involved in the Flint water scandal. Yes. <laughs> government has, government has this. Prosecutors say they are dismissing all criminal charges oh, of course they are. against eight people in Flint water scandal and starting the investigation over Even again. I knew what the fuck was okay. going on. But they, 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 said, yeah. they said, and starting the investigation over again. I have heard nothing about it since those no, in, a, since those been. charges were dropped. If they're exactly. starting, If they're starting the investigation over again, where the hell is it? It's called the big old sweep it under the rug deal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the scumbags. Government fucking has freaking bad. Fucking bastards. Fucking 
Oh, I know, I know. Very frustrating. Very frustrating. Yes, very. It pisses me off. It pisses me off. Yeah, yeah. Okay, number seven, and you'll all remember this. And it was a big thing for a little while, just like a lot of things are. <laughs> of course they fucking are. On the July fifth Freakers Ball Show. New trend of tampering with food products and putting them back going viral. Oh, my God. Yep. Oh. The new trend where people tamper with food, food, licking, oh. licking it. People are sick. People that do that are fucking insane. Oh. All right? They're, they're mentally ill. Yeah. They're fucking mentally ill. Licking okay. it or half consuming it before putting it back in the container is yeah, going you know viral. What? I I I see that at stores sometimes. I've seen it only a couple times, but yeah. it's really disgusting. And it's really like, oh my god, that person must have really needed food. But then I'm like, maybe it was a kid, what? I'm really a kid or something. But I'm like, no, this is you know, this is no. Yeah. Anyway, the, uh, according to this there, last week, from when this was out, a woman in the city of Lufkin, eastern Texas, was filmed at a branch of a Walmart opening an ice cream tub, licking it, and then putting it back oh. in the freezer. Oh, my God. See, these people are sick in the head, dude. See, They're you know, I, I, I think I know where that comes from, though. Um, where? Who was that? Was that pop star? And she was in a, a donut shop somewhere in Canada. Right. And she took a donut out and licked it and put it back. Ariana Grande. Um, Grande, right? yeah, that one. Yeah, yep. just a gross and gross individual. Yeah, it was gross. Yeah, it, it's just got to even put that in people's heads to do that, like it's a cool thing, yeah. it's gross. Right. It's nasty. It's a hygiene thing. It's gross, dude. Right, right. Yep. <laughs> it's disgusting. All right, now this one is kind of, sounds like a repeat of another one that I already did, but it's a little bit different because... So we're in August now, right? Yeah, in August. Um, uh, the, it sounds like a repeat, but it's not exactly because they've gone a little further out on this one. Okay. Uh, the August 2nd Frickers Ball Show. New FBI document adds fringe conspiracy series as the next this. big domestic terror threat. Yes, I remember this. This, yep. is, this is on Activist Post. Um, so it says, it's already been well documented how many government agencies have compiled lists containing Americans who are potential terrorists. Uh, back, back in, back in, <laughs> 20, fuck ever, back in 2013, Michael Snyder silent, uh, highlighted 72 types of Americans who made some sort of potential threat list, and he provided links right. to all the documents. As a comprehensive as that was, there is a brand new document that has been obtained by Yahoo News, which purports to illustrate a new category uh, that the FBI is zeroing in on fringe conspiracy theories. Uh, Yahoo states... Yeah, like that, they haven't been doing that forever. Uh, well, they just documented it. Whether yeah, doing yeah it whatever. The, you can't believe this shit. It's, it's <laughs> So yeah, and and if uh, I, if I'm not on one or both of those, all of those lists, I you know all seventy two lists, I guess. Um, right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? And, and I would imagine a lot Put of people. Put me on your goddamn list. I dare you. I don't care. I'm on your fucking list. I, I, I would imagine. I, I would, I'm not alone on your list. No, I, I would imagine a lot of people. One person. I'm not alone. So fuck your fucking list, bitch. I, I'd imagine a lot of RLMers. Are, are on these lists. <laughs> I'm sure. And I don't give a fuck. Flying fucks. I'm on some fucking list. <laughs> fuck you. Your it's, fucking list. All Send right, your all list right. your ass, bitch. All right. Story nine. September 6th, Freakers Ball Show. Vaping related illness oh, claim, God, here we go. claims a fourth life in the United States as possible cases swell to 450. Right. We talked about this in depth. This is on the Daily Mail. Yes, we are. And it's it's we pure pure things freaking things pure freaking propaganda. But uh this is what they say. Vaping related lung illness has now killed four people and may be sickening as many four hundred and fifty people across right, maybe. thirty across thirty three US states. So, so far yeah, maybe quote unquote maybe. Yes. So far. So far, 215 cases have been confirmed, but the CDC have dramatically expanded their, of investi they fucking did. their, their investigation. 
Indiana health officials confirmed on Friday that one adult over 18 there has died of vaping-related severe lung injury, blah, 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 blah. Make, making that individual the third suspected death from vaping. A fourth, Wait, yes. a fourth death. Let's make this a thing. We talked about that that month. We, yeah. we, we talked in depth about this subject that month. A fourth death was confirmed yeah. later on Friday. But then now they've it's by Minnesota to like 55 or something. Min, right. It, you know, 55 is the whole population. Seriously, again, it's faded out. It's phased out. Like, we even brought up the fact that they were trying to pin it on the THC vapes. Which some of them were proven to be, but because this mom in Waukesha got busted. But those guys are shady. That was just one isolated incident. But as you, if you're talking nationwide, yeah, I mean they they that was a that was a um, fart in church. They yeah. tried it. And they're still trying. To, every once in a while, see the story pop up again. Sure. Fifty-five people have died now from vaping. It's like fifty-five of the whole population. Are you fucking kidding me? I know. I know. It's funny. You know. Come on. They're they're still trying to keep it alive, but it's dying fast. This oh yeah. yeah because thing. it's nonsense. So it is. It was made up. It was totally <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Okay. Article number ten on October fourth. Uh, Freakers Ball Show. This is yep. one of my favorite stories of the year. Okay. We need to eat the babies. Oh, God. No, uh, this is a... It, a AOC, I, I a, this. AOC Town Hall attendee urges eating babies to stop climate change. So, yeah, I remember this. <laughs> this is a woman attending the town hall hosted by Democratic New York rep Alexandria Ocrazio cortez Ocrazio. Uh, uh, interrupted the proceedings to demand that people start eating babies in response to climate change. Now, so like, yeah, although and, although the the woman yeah. the woman was a shill and planted yep, planted was. planted there by an opposition person. Yes, um, correct. <laughs> she she uh, <laughs> she had Ocrazio nodding yes. Like yeah, yeah that's a good, she got her like, fucking son, and you know, I mean, she like stood up in the middle of thing, blah blah blah. Yeah, you know. like that's a great idea. It was a publicity well, that, stunt, that, but it it worked. It, I mean, obviously, because people <laughs> were all up in arms about so, it. So I oh mean, my god, the, it created a shitstorm, dude. The the, uh, the climate change yeah. alarmists are freaking Looney Tunes. It created right, and so then just that little spark created a fucking shitstorm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, like the whole, they were all fired up, dude. Oh, oh my sure. god! Yeah. yeah, we just laugh. We just laugh. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> story <laughs> number. We story number eleven. We're we're into the November eighth Freakers Ball. Okay. Popeye's customer is stabbed to death oh, oh over god. over restocked chicken sandwich. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> so a Popeye's customer, 28 years old, is yeah, that? Is, is, I know, R.I.P., buddy, because what? That's a shitty way to fucking die, dude. I'm sorry, dude. That it sucks. Stab, stabbed to death in an <laughs> argument over the chicken sandwich while waiting in line at a Maryland restaurant during a nationwide right, ca- wait in line. Na- yeah, there. For chicken sandwich. Nation, I mean, nationwide chaos over the return of the chicken sandwich to the menu. Christ. Nationwide chaos over a freaking fast food chicken yeah. sandwich. That, that was telling of uh, how far we have not evolved. Just Looney Tunes, man. Fucking Looney Tunes. crazy. What the fuck, people? Come on now. <laughs> it's freaking nuts. What the fuck, pharmaceuticals? Quit doing that shit. Quit trusting doctors, for Christ's fucking sake. Right. Oh my fucking god! Do we have to just? I, I obviously I just said it, but well, seriously, okay. we need billboards now. Yeah, it's a chicken sandwich. Just come back when it's not so crowded. It's a fucking chicken goddamn sandwich. It's not always this crowded. Don't try and get what in there the first. Fuck? Really, you stabbed a dude and killed the motherfucker. It's fast food. It's nasty. Fucking Christ's sake! Oh my god. <laughs> All that right. has to be the number one story, Graham. Well, I, yeah, maybe. Uh, anyway, I mean, um, no, number 12 here. Number 12. Okay. number 12. Oh, I didn't put the date of which show this was, but I think it was early in December. Well, it had to be. I, I, oh. Well, whatever. Um, in the last week. Well, in the last month. Not the last week. Yeah, or in the last month, last week. Yeah. yeah. During, during this month. A Children's Book of Demons teaches oh, children... Yeah. 
teaches children how to summon demons. Great. This is posted on Vigilant. So we need more black magic in the fucking world. V- Vigilant. Fuck you, dark side. Fuck v- you. <laughs> VigilantCitizen.com. It says, this children's book presents the summoning of demons as a fun way of taking <laughs> care of fun. ever. T- is t- it in court scream or is it? No, no, it's. That's, no, no, what, that's, that's, it was, that's what it says. A uh, fun. And, uh, a, I would have it. As, I would have it in quotes. If, a if fun I way. The, a fun way of taking. A fun way of taking care of everyday problems such as chores, homework, and getting rid of bullies. <laughs> and, I like to get rid of built bullies part though. And it gets worse. Some nasty spells on some people, dude. And, and it gets worse. Although it yeah. might be the worst idea for a children's book in world history, a chil- children's book of demons exists. It's published, widely distributed, and it is sold on Amazon and Walmart and some of the largest bookstores of in the country. Is. <laughs> so oh you can you can teach your children how to summon demons to take care of their chores and all that. Lovely, <laughs> fucking lovely. You know what? And- when they use the word demons, that means it's dark sides, black magic. Right. And there's other words that we use for the opposite of those things, because there is the light side as well. Anyway, and, that that is a, a yeah. small, small sampling of the insanity uh, from 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 2019 that we talked about here on the Freakers Ball. Um, it <laughs> right. And I think the number one is the fucking pop up the stabbing. While well, waiting in line for a goddamn chicken sandwich. Oh, well, it's crazy, Fuck. man. It's, it's, uh, that's you know. not, I mean, never, unfortunately, that's the number one story. And I feel bad for this guy's family. You know, I really right. do. That's uh, horrible. Anyway. <laughs> there you go. Wow, it's been a crazy year. We we made it through it, people. I'm knocking on wood right now. Hey, we still got a few days. We don't don't say anything yet. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh shit! I got knocking wood double though. Uh, Time machine thing ain't working. 13, the fucking. 18. There you go. Should be working. You gotta hit it like pot, like pawns. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now it works. Oh man, it's just uh, it's such a. It's yeah, you know, undescribable. So I. You know. All right, well, let's do a set here. Um, let's do that. And, and uh, we'll come back and, and uh, say some more things. And we will. We'll say shit. We'll say. <laughs> well, we'll say stuff. I, I will well, say stuff. I, I, I just gotta say, man. Ah. This is the world. This is the world we all live in, man. It is. It is. And hey, we all made it through another year. Um. So far. And hopefully <laughs> you'll 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 take this first song here to heart and uh. Right. Believe the words, because it makes sense. All right. <laughs> ha! Black Betty. Christopher Amoroso there, uh, closing out the uh, Freakers Ball shows, Black Betty. Uh, before that, we had the playing for change there, doing higher ground Ah, oh, man, they, they, those guys do it. It's an amazing thing. Uh, they all wear Beats headphones for some reason. All right, before that, we had a shaky graves, a moose girl thing there, going on with Roll the Bones. And we kicked it off with the Almond Brothers and Soul Shine. Oh, man, it's been a great uh, decade here on Freaker's Ball. Uh, we It's been uh, more than a decade, but we, 20, the, the 2010 decade, We've been with you all along throughout that decade. So uh, here's wishing you and yours a happy and peaceful and prosperous 2020 and beyond. So uh, hopefully you all uh, have a great uh, rest of the year for three, four more days of the year. Moose Girl, yes. you there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone so, have a good, uh, happy new year. Yeah, and um, don't forget uh, tomorrow is uh, the dark table is now at 2 p.m. rather than noon Eastern. So uh, look forward to that. Uh, the blues is still on at noon Eastern on Sunday, and Hal Anthony is still on at 3 p.m. And there will be no uh, grim leftovers this week. So uh, No, because 
It's holy crap and shit. Well, whatever. No, I just I decided not to do them for. Well, time. yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, it's so your I, prerogative, dude. It is. It is. So uh, anyway. All right. Thank you all. Yeah. Happy New Year. Love you guys. You guys are awesome. Thanks Thank to everybody. Thanks to everybody for being part of Real Liberty Media and Freakers Ball. Love you all. Absolutely. Peace. Peace.